Hey, DNF Duel just released a new video for the Grappler. That's the character I'm the most interested in, too. Hmm. Oh, hey, thanks for the follow. Uh. Hmm. I could watch it on stream if anybody wants to watch it with me, and then I'll put it on YouTube later. Or if no one cares, I can just record it off stream after t the stream today, so that way uh, I can put it on YouTube immediately. You need to see that? Oh, okay, yeah, I guess we can watch it together. <clears throat> Okay, so DNF Duel literally just a couple minutes ago posted a new trailer for one of the characters in DNF Duel. This time it is the Grappler. Uh, the last couple have been the Inquisitor and uh, the Gunslinger, I think. I would have done reaction videos for those, but the issue is that these videos are so short. Like, look, this is only 38 seconds long. I wish they'd be showing more, so that way there would be more to analyze and dissect, right? Because it's mostly just cinematic, flashy stuff they're showing. And what can I say aside from just, oh, cool, hmm, <laughs> cool. Uh, I wanted to make an exception in this case, though, because this is the grappler, and this is the character I'm most excited for. Uh, just because I usually always gravitate towards the Grappler characters, and in this case, the guy is literally named Grappler. I'm kind of interested, though, because not only that, but uh, normally the Grappler archetypes in games, in fighting games, are really big and they have big normals, right? The big body Grappler types. This guy, on the other hand, looks like a completely normal-sized person, right? Like a, just a completely average-sized character. And because he's unarmed, he he does it doesn't look like he has many big normals, right? It looks like his normals might actually be pretty stubby. So he might be more of like a rushdown grappler, so I'm interested. So let's see if this shows any kind of new gameplay that we haven't already seen from the other trailers. Because... Uh, from the uh, from the Inquisitor trailer and from the uh, Female Striker trailer, most of the gameplay was stuff we already saw, but let's just watch. Oh, the Ukimi intro. Ryu is you, and this guy is the guy she tells you not to worry about. <laughs> what? I'm going to play this at slower speed. Dude, did he just... Hey, we're watching a trailer right now. <laughs> huh? DNF tool. Uh... Okay, let's just let it play and then I'll go back to that part. It looked like he was going to combo off the grab, but it looked like it was more of a reset. Okay, this is the super, yeah. Dude, these trailers are already short enough. That is an interesting shot, with there being no ceiling here, and there being a ceiling here. Okay, so, that was definitely more than I was expecting, so that's good. Uh, these trailers are so short, right? Like, they're not even a minute long, and literally the, the final third of these trailers is just a cinematic, right? Which obviously looks cool, but it's not very insightful in how the game plays. So, let's watch this epic uh, intro again. I love the intro. I love the Ukimi intro. And the little clouds. Obviously, the visuals are great. Like, that's that's not the concern with this game. So... Something that I didn't recognize myself, but something I heard other people notice when they were watching the other trailers. Oh yeah, yeah, Arc System works with the clean animations, but with the super short trailers. This is very much an Arc System Works, work, uh, Arc System works trailer, right? Uh, make sure I'm not hitting the mic stand here. Um, but something else that other people were noticing was that there was a suspicious lack of hit stop for some of these combos, which led them to believe that some of these are auto combos. And after hearing that, it makes a lot of sense. That looked like it had some hit stop, that last hit. Those first three hits though, like the, the first two hits, it didn't look like they had any kind of hit stop after them. So those might be auto combos, right? But then later we're going to see that flash effect again. And that looks like some kind of special cancel, right? So, it's kind of hard to guess what the game mechanics are from these short trailers, but I'm thinking that maybe it's, like, mostly auto combos, but you're canceling out of the auto combos with special cancels. 
Which sounds like it could be okay, right? There's no way that's a combo, right? Uh, I know, like, in King of Fighters 15, because that's a recent example, you can actually combo into command grabs. But look. Yeah, this there's no way that's a combo, because she returns to her regular standing pose. So I think it's just a showcase. Also, this is really interesting. So this could just be a cool animation, right? Because it looks like he goes for some kind of arm lock, right? Like, this is obviously a grab animation. But then she gets out of it. Right? Like, she escapes the arm lock, and then he gets up and kicks her. So, this could just be a cool animation, right? Or, oh, hello, Corncob. Uh, say hi to YouTube. <laughs> Show what the cute girl does. We already did it. We already did a reaction for Not Jam. Uh, so, this could just be a really cool animation, but I think more excitingly, what if she actually just teched out of his throw, but then he called out the tech or something, right? Like, imagine if it were more like a chain throw, right? And there are multiple opportunities to tech. I think that would be really exciting. I don't know if that's the case, though. This literally just might be an animation, but I think it would be weird from just, like, a visual artistic st standpoint if the actual successful throw animation showed someone escaping and then not escaping. Doesn't that seem a little weird? So if you actually had, like, multiple tech opportunities that make them, like, chain... That would be cool because, like, he's the grappler, right? So that would be cool if he's the only character with chain throws. That would automatically make me main him. Uh... So that looks like some kind of cross-up, right? I don't think he's crossing it up here, but it looks ambiguous enough that you could maybe turn it into a cross-up. See how let's see how much hit stop there is on that. That might be an auto combo, maybe not. Oh, hold on, did that OTG? Oh no, I don't think that OTG. I think that was just a uh, a reset, right? Like it looks like she texts here. Like it looks like she it looks like she ground texts, like she does a new Kimmy or something, and he calls it out. So it looks like it's just a tech trap, which is cool because uh. Soul Calibur had a lot of those, had a lot of uh, tech traps uh, where you could punish your opponent if they actually tech rolled. So that, that would be cool if you could call out your opponent for doing stuff like that, right? Uh, like one of my, one of, one of the things that turns me off from fighting games that I'm not too big on are fighting games in which the Oki just resets to neutral, right? Like I like having lots of opportunities to keep your offense going even after you knock your opponent down. You get the source material, had no characters per se. Yeah, uh, so the source material, Dungeon Fighter Online, they're classes. They're not actual characters, they're classes. Uh, so it, it does seem like it has an inherent challenging from a, uh, an inherent challenge from a marketing perspective because they can't say like, oh, look at these cool characters, haha. -ha. They're, they don't have names, right? So it's kind of banking on the fact that the characters just look cool enough, or they're banking on the fact that DFO is already popular enough. It's really popular in Korea. For anyone that doesn't know, DFO is an MMO beat-em-up that has been going on for a while. Like it, It's at least 10 years old, I think. Grabs McTosser or something? Yeah, you can name him. <laughs> That's cool. That looked, So was that another... Uh, did I see another flash? Yeah, so that looks like some kind of special cancel, right? So I bet from neutral, that's probably meant to be some kind of anti-air grab, but this just looks like a way to combo into it, right? Because you launch them and then you do the anti-air grab. I love, I love this animation. He just grabs the back of her head. That looks like another some... That looks like another special of some kind, right? Some kind of tackle. No wall bounce. Is this... This might be a regular grab here. Let me play this in slow motion. Wait, before that. Okay. Is there... Like, for a moment, they show a frame of her walking into him. So yeah, this might just be a regular grab. 
Right, like we we still don't even know if you can combo after regular grabs in this game because you can do it in Power Rangers, but Power Rangers is kind of unique in this in that case. So this might just be a command grab. And then he did another kind of special cancel here. But this time it's not an anti-air grab, it's some kind of actual hit. Oh, that's interesting. He didn't actually hit her in the air. Hit the ground and the hitbox is juggling her. Wait, did it not? I need to watch that in normal speed then. Huh. Did he drop the combo? Are they showing dropped combos in a character showcase that's 38 seconds long? Right? Maybe he's going for a reset. That's not a reset. Man, okay, then we go to the cool looking super. Uh, what's weird is that this part of the super where he throws her up and then just start zipping around, this looks extremely similar to some of the other supers we saw. So I hope that they're not all homogenized. Maybe this first part is only similar because maybe, maybe characters have multiple supers and maybe there's some sort of common element between uh, the supers that are supposed to kind of do the same thing. Right, like, we literally saw another character do this same thing where he got on the rock, right? <laughs> so maybe that's not really a super. Maybe that's more of just a universal thing. But obviously this outro is unique, right? I do not know many kanji, so if anybody's able to translate that, please let me know in the comments if you're watching this on YouTube. It uh, looks like a restand. It might be. Uh... Anyways, I'm glad I was able to actually I'm I'm glad I I'm glad there was enough stuff in here for me to pause and talk about, right? Considering the trailer's only 38 seconds, so I was worried. I was like, "Oh no, am I just going to watch 38 seconds and say, "Hmm, cool," and then make that a video?" No. Okay, so th there was still definitely stuff to analyze here. Uh, again, I wanted to make an exception for this character because he's the one I'm most interested in. He's probably the one that I'm going to end up playing. Unless they add, like, Crusader or something. Uh, because he, Crusader looks like he would be the character with a bunch of armor and big normals and stuff. Which is usually reserved for the grappler characters. But in this case, uh, that doesn't seem to be the case, right? So I'm pretty interested. Uh, anyways, let me know what you think in the comments. And I will see you all later. So bye for now.